This film Golden Monkey begins with the knowledge that, thousands of years ago, a hell door opened in China. As a result, countless demons began to assault the country of China. These demons were now wreaking havoc in China preying on humanity. Now a member of China's aristocracy, to keep his family safe, he recruits a large number of demon hunters. It refers to those who are capable of hunting down devils. And there were a lot of magicians among the demon hunters. The palace is full of demon hunters. However, they all wore a cowardly expression since they were thinking this. Demons may avoid affixing themselves to them in any case. One of the demon hunters named Jade, who also happens to be the main character in this film. She was the only one who was ready to face the demon if he appeared. However, if everyone was afraid of demons, there was a lot of misunderstanding. Why was she solely looking forward to the demon's arrival? This ambiguity will be clarified in the film. Now it can be seen that she was feeling anxious as the demon approached. She was all set to go after it. The palace door opens in the meantime. She slams her weapon on the door before fully opening it. The man who had been targeted by a weapon was no longer a demon but his name had been changed to Tong, who had come here to put an end to the demon Jade. It's possible that he'll be dubbed a demon hunter, but by coming here, he was temporarily freed from Jade because she assaulted him severely. As a result, he tries to flatter Jade in order to impress her, but Jade was completely uninterested in his statements because she sensed the presence of a demon here and desired to confront it. The ornate bells in the palace start to chime all of a sudden, and then the earth suddenly cracks. As a result, all demon hunters begin to struggle to fight that demon while wielding their weapons. Despite being attracted by their magic, the demon draws them in. After a while, some bones belonging to the same demon hunters surfaced. These are the results of the demon's presence in that hole. When the head of the demon hunters who had hired them saw this, he was furious. He was terrified. Other demon hunters, on the other hand, had left after witnessing this, who were on the run from the monster. Behind them stood a Tong who was actually a demon hunter. Instead of rushing, he was observing them, who gets captured with a demon's tongue and appears to be a monster. As a result of this, more demon hunters venture outside to pursue demons. After noticing them, the monster was on the verge of killing them by crushing them under its massive fist. While fleeing from it, those demon hunters had fled like cowards. The monster is now on his way to the city. From the direction in which it was passing, the ground began to break. As a result, it was felt throughout the city. That quake is currently taking place there, where the locals were fleeing to a safe spot to save themselves because they were terrified. And that demon had approached a crowd of humans, collapsing all structures. And the demon hunters had arrived at a city's bridge, ready to launch their final assault. The monster has now emerged from the water as a result of their magical onslaught. It had indicated that, after emerging from the sea, Tom, who had been suffocated by the demon, he hadn't died yet, because he was seated in the back of the demon and was being seen, and it was attempting to exert control over the demon. As a result, there's a chance it won't add to the pandemonium. While that demon preys on the demon hunter's leader, he emerges. Later, it was discovered that the monster was devouring everyone who came his way while destroying everything. Meanwhile, it sits on its back and pushes Tong down. Now Jade appears, armed with a poisoned arrow, ready to assault the demon. Meanwhile, that demon was devouring the people while yelling angrily, as the devil begins to devour a man. Then it's revealed that Tong goes on to save the victim. Tong leaps to his feet to save the man. Then, instead of hitting the demon, Demon. Jade's shot arrow hits Tong. He had fallen to the ground as a result of this. Another lady had slapped him, mistaking him for a bad guy. Those girls, on the other hand, were planning their second attack on that demon. The demon eventually becomes the victim as they target its eye. Now Jade is marking its territory. Tong jumps and pushes Jade down to protect her from the demon's deadly blood. It was seen that its blood had sprayed on another man's face. Then his face began to scald. It suggests his blood was extremely poisonous. Despite praising Tong, Jade slaps him, and Jade pulls the demon's spine, putting it back on its back. Following that, 
Tom reads some mystical words before approaching the creature. He also converts the demon's body into ash. The next scene shows Jade extracting a liquid from the demon's spine. She needed to produce a new reincarnation liquid for her companion. It means she wanted to create a liquid that would allow her to resuscitate her friend, so she might run into him again. Jade's true identity had been revealed where it was revealed that Jade was a heaven goddess. There was a certain tree that she was in charge of. The Tree of Mortality, as it was known, was a popular moniker for it. The fruits of Jade had to be gathered. Jade is now seen in the heavens with Butong. It had been revealed here that Butong is Jade's friend whom she had already lost and now wishes to reclaim. It may be noticed here because they are both very near to each other. Then the fruits of that tree began to fall which used to ripen all at once every 3,000 years. The length of a god's life used to increase when they ate them. When Bu Tong and Jade realized this, they were ecstatic. It was already too late, because a lot of fruits had gone to waste, and all gods who were enraged by these gods had arrived. As a result of their carelessness, the queen of gods has decided to punish both of them, giving a specific drug to Tong. She released Tong into the world while erasing all of his memories, and transforming him into a human. As a result, it's possible that this was the cause. He had not recognized Jade when she appeared in front of him. While Jade had prevented herself from using this medicine in order to forget about her companion, she didn't want to forget about Tong. As a result, she herself leaps from the sky. There was a queen's curse on her now. She had no idea who Tong was, and she'll have to remind Tong of everything while hunting for him on Earth. After a long battle, she was finally able to locate his long-lost pal. As a result, a massive demon spine was necessary that she had obtained as a result of eliminating this demon. However, there remained one item missing from her magic a cyclops eye. Cyclops are creatures with only one eye. Following that, Tong is shown, who was walking in the woods when he noticed a caravan approaching. In the carriage, the most beautiful girls are seen who, in reality, are demons. Tong had recognized them from the moment he saw them. Those demons, on the other hand, were well aware that Tong is no ordinary man. He is an extremely powerful individual, because those demons had noticed a golden glow in his vicinity. When a green-clad demon sees Tong, he recognizes him, and she recalls that Tong is her protector here. It signifies that Tong came to her rescue right away, and it is known about Tong's prior history that he was a dragon after being expelled from heaven. He had made the devils his victims. He had also imprisoned an evil beast beneath a Buddhist sculpture. It can be noticed here that the creature's kid likewise came from the creature's mouth. Tong had also witnessed this, but instead of killing the baby, he had left it alive far away from the scene. That devil was on the lookout for a small snake. The girl in the green dress had exposed herself to be that serpent monster, who was ecstatic to see Tong after such a long time, and she got the impression that Tong had given her life, and she owes Tong to her. The three demons are then discovered in the palace. Their father, the demon lord, was becoming violent towards three of them, because his scheme had fallen through, and it had revealed their plot to to assassinate the monarch. He could then enslave the entire human race. However, a mystery force had kept them away from the king. As a result, they were unable to assassinate the monarch and their scheme had failed. Now the demon ruler was considering changing his plan which required a human girl. No one has the power to recognize her in the king's presence, and she has the authority to carry out his command. Hearing them, these lovely ladies appear in their true demon form, where one of the demon girls had turned into a spider she was a spider demon. According to this, the other, on the other hand, had morphed into a dog. They were also preying on the children. As a result, they may live a long time. Tong is mentioned again in the next scene, who aspired to be a monk. It refers to a religious community member. He had to shave his head for this reason. He could do it whenever he pleased. His hair used to be as rigid as iron. Tong's masters were now attempting to shave his head, chopping with an axe. His hair isn't shaved 
but his axe is ruined. Tong had been upset by his desire to become a monk after entering the world. He was now concerned. Why couldn't he do so? And one of the Tong masters tells him, it's also possible that God was enraged with you in a former life. This is the reason why they won't let you become a monk. When he hears this, he asks, what should I do now? They tell him that if he moves into a temple, he should seek God for forgiveness. As he approaches the temple to seek the God's forgiveness, the Buddhist sculptures then turn around to face the opposite direction. He had confirmed that gods are enraged with him as a result of this. It implies that he has done something devilish in his life, but he was still unknown for what he had done up to this point because he had never done anything wrong before. So he's now moving on to the goddess of mercy, and after praying for her, he says to her, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Among all gods, only the goddess of mercy responds to his question. She tells him, to learn about your prior history, you'll have to slay a cyclop. Before that, he could be able to comprehend the words of the goddess of mercy. In the meantime, Buddhists enter the temple, witnessing the turning posture of the Buddhist sculptures, who had become so concerned. They now desired to harm the guy who had infuriated their gods. They begin to beat him while arresting him because they know it was done by Tong. Meanwhile, an elegant lady walks into the room. All monks who had visited here, it is revealed on her entry. They'd been summoned by her because she needed to conduct a worship service here. However, she becomes enraged as a result of her failure to complete the required duty on time. She also orders all of her soldiers to assassinate all monks. Tong's masters advance in an attempt to halt them. However, a soldier attacks his skull, causing him excruciating pain. Surprisingly, a peculiar golden light had begun to emanate from his head at this point. After that, the sky became cloudy, and the thunderstorm began. Then, from the sky, a bright light moves in the direction of his head. That monk is then transformed into a massive monster. After a pounding, he tosses all of the soldiers away. While Tong was ecstatic to meet him, because his commanders appeared to be so powerful to him, the old man and then informs Tong that he is not a real monk. He is more of a Tong friend who has appeared from the heavens. He couldn't bear seeing Tong in such a horrible position, so he came to assist him and return him to heaven. But Tong couldn't understand a single word said by this man. As a result, the monster places his palm on his head and reveals his past to him. He is one of the gods of heaven there. After punishing him, the queen of God exiled him to earth. He was also cursed with the inability to recognize his pal's faces. When Tong notices this, he notices that his pal has also changed into a human face. He now informs Tong that a cyclop will be killed soon. As the goddess of mercy had suggested, your curse will be lifted in this manner. After that, you'll be able to view your friend's true face. On the other hand, a demon lord can be seen keeping an eye on Tong, who had been imprisoned for many years by Tong beneath this Buddhist monument. Now he tells his girls that he wanted to exact revenge on him. Capture Tong's pal, and we'll use him to carry out our plan. However, the snake demon did not agree with him at all in this situation, but she couldn't defy his command in front of him, so she agrees. But he was remorseful for injuring her protector. In the next shot, a troop of troops can be seen. The group was led by Angry Mustache, a female fighter. It's revealed as she walks inside a restaurant to order a meal. Tong owns and operates this eatery. He'd opened a new restaurant in this town. As a result of his staff lack of culinary expertise, Angry Mustache had erupted in wrath. As a result, she scares Tong by morphing into a hawk. She needed a supper at all costs. She is transformed into her true form of a girl. Then a green liquid splashes all over her. She raises her eyes to the ceiling. There was a large hole in the ceiling through which she could see an enormous eye. It was shown that it is a huge cyclop in the movies close up. Jade is also looking for this information. It was also mentioned by the goddess of mercy about this. If he kills it, Tong will learn everything about his past. Cyclope is said to have been victimizing all soldiers while capturing them cruelly. He was also responsible for the village devastation. It's now clear that Jade had also arrived to catch it, while Angry Mustache planned to attack its eye in order to protect it. Because Jade requires the eye of a Cyclope, 
She assaults Angry Mustache's arrow in order to change its path so the Cyclops' eye doesn't get hurt. As a result, that Cyclop had captured the Angry Mustache. That girl, on the other hand, had not accepted her defeat and had assaulted the enormous mount with her sword. As a result of the excruciating pain, Cyclops' strength had dwindled. As a result, everyone on the downside who was still standing had a chance to tackle the Cyclops. That Cyclop tosses Angry Mustache far away as a result of this attack, but Tong comes to her aid right away as Jade hits the Cyclop's head. Then Cyclop becomes enraged and catches Tong from the bottom. Tong employs his enigmatic hair, which has the ability to transform into iron. Now it can be observed that everyone was running to get away from the Cyclop. Then Jade devises a strategy. Those individuals think, noting Tong's hair. Why don't we use Tong's hair to assault that Cyclop? They are now using Tong to kill the Cyclop. According to the Goddess of Mercy's saying, Tong had now killed that Cyclop. On the other hand, Jade appears to have snatched the Cyclops' eye. She now makes her way to a laboratory with her partner. A motion picture projection begins as she puts that eye into her contraption. It is revealed to her that Tong is the same person she has been looking for for many years. Tong had also entered the laboratory, as may be seen here. Witnessing this, Tong had grown somewhat sentimental. They had finally come together. Then the Demon Lord appears, who hasn't wished to exact vengeance on Tong. Tong. It had also been noted that he intended to carry out his nefarious scheme via Jade, in which he expressed his desire to enslave all of humanity. His daughters were also present. Previously, a demon lord attacked Jade. Tong comes to her aid. On the other hand, Angry Mustache begins battling the spider demon in order to assist them. Where was that spider demon with her spider attacking? Angry Mustache attacked her with her sword wielded like a bat. In the meantime, she exercises one of the demons. On the other hand, Tong is seen still fighting the Demon Lord. Because the Demon Lord was so powerful, he emerged and defeated Tong and Jade. Where Angry Mustache could be found, he had become enraged upon seeing her, because she was responsible for the death of one of his daughters. When she notices this, she attacks the Demon Lord with her sword. However, the Demon Lord counterattacks, halting all of his sword assaults. She died as a result of this. Tong can also be seen here, which which had been dragged out while the spider monster was assaulting, and the demon lord had come to exact vengeance. As he was about to kill him, Jade appears and saves him, and she makes a number of pleas to the demon ruler in order for him to abandon her companion, but he was not going to do so. Instead, he tells her, okay, I'll save his life, but you'll have to help me out. Jade is a precious stone she had finally discovered her long lost companion, and she was willing to go to any length for him, and she agrees to the Demon Lord's requests. On the Demon Lord's order, the Snake Demon now injects her with a parasite. Now Jade had turned poisonous, and she needed to infect the King with it. That monarch could perish as a result, and the Demon Lord could rule the entire world. Jade is shown in that King's palace in the next scene. On the other hand, Tong, who was on the verge of death, can be seen. At the same time, a snake demon appears. She also emits spiritual energy from her body, which she passes into Tong's lips. As a result, he may be able to fully recover. She had acted in this manner because Tong had saved her life before. She also tells Tong where Jade is located. What happened to her? What is she up to now? This is the temple where the Tong was at the time. He listens as he approaches it. He had relinquished his god's ability to kill the Cyclop. Now he'll have to move there to save his friend. On the other hand, Jade can be seen about to pour the poison into the king's mouth. While clutching the poison, she shifts her plane and discloses every truth. The demon lord was watching everything, and he was furious with Jade. He began to beat the drum loudly as a result of this. As a result, the parasite in Jade's body was causing her harm. With that, a spider demon had arrived to assassinate the monarch. Many troops had arrived to assassinate her. However, she uses her webs to kill all of the troops. Upon seeing this, the entire army marched forward to destroy the spider monster. The demon lord had come here to make his daughter's life easier. With his first attack, 
he had reduced the entire army to ash. Spider Demon, on the other hand, had used her webs to assault the king. She may kill the king first, and then Tong appears. He then strikes her, grabbing all of the Spider Demon's webs, and he kills her by dismembering her. Tong's friend had transformed into a monster once more in order to confront the Demon King. Despite this, he was nothing in the eyes of the Demon Ruler. As a result, the Demon Lord pushes him back while attacking him. Tong can also be seen here, who had quickly regained Jade with his power and moved to her. Then he led her outside, where his companion was engaged in battle with the Demon Ruler. Demon was effortlessly defeating him there time and again. And then there was the occasion when the Demon Lord threw him away while taking up the monster. He had reverted to his human form as a result of this. However, Tong's old friend refuses to accept his defeat, and he stands to assault the Demon Lord once more while Jade is visible in the same location, who then goes on the attack against the Demon Ruler. Because she lacked even a smidge on of energy, the Demon Lord pushes her aside with his single kick. As a result, she sustains a serious injury. Tong's companion had attacked the Demon Lord once more. However, after conquering him, the Demon Lord had cast him away. On the attack of the Demon Lord, he had run out of breath. Tong's friend, on the other hand, did not perish here. Tong's friend, on the other hand, had done a lot of damage to the Demon Lord. As a result, his wounds were dripping profusely, and he was on the verge of passing away. Now he asks her daughter, the Sir Serpent Demon for spiritual power. She'd already moved it to Tong. It's also worth noting that, that Jade had likewise died in Tong's hands. As a result, he had become despondent, but as a result of her death, he regained his deity status. Now the Demon Lord had manifested himself in his true form, which was on the verge of death. When the Snake Demon saw him about to eat her, he realized what had happened. Demon Lord desired power at any costs and continues to do so under all conditions. After devouring his daughter, he satisfies his energy needs. Now that Demon Lord Dragon has converted into a golden deity, he moves on to Tong. Using his magic, he summons a large number of soldiers who are similar to him. He also orders them to fight the dragon. Tong has now transformed into the same dragon as him carrying any soldiers with him, and he's fighting him right now. That red dragon, on the other hand, is attacking Tong. He was seriously wounded as a result of this, yet he had not lost his courage. He had now transformed all approaching soldiers into human beings using his body. Finally, he had beaten that dragon with a barrage of punches. After killing the dragon that had turned to ash, he moves on to Jade. He had become dejected upon seeing him. Now the Goddess of Mercy appears, assuring him that he has been accepted into heaven. You can now go to heaven. However, Tong refuses to enter heaven, and he tells her that the fact that he is living without his friend is a curse. Hearing this, the Goddess of Kindness joins him and transforms Jade's soul into a bird. After that, Tong appears in paradise with Jade's soul, and it's at this point that the film comes to a close.